Hi grade 12, there are always two steps to solving a quadratic inequality. Step number one is to write the quadratic inequality in the form of a standard quadratic equation. So we have 4x squared minus 1 is equal to 0. And by inspection, it is quite evident that 2x plus 1 and 2x minus 1 are the factors. You can use distributive law to verify that. So the solutions are 2x plus 1 is equal to 0 or 2x minus 1 is equal to 0. Therefore, 2x should be equal to minus 1 or 2x should be equal to positive 1. Divide both sides by 2 for both solutions. To cancel and therefore x should be equals to negative half or x should be equals to positive half but these solutions are not necessarily the solutions to the inequality these solutions satisfy the equation and these solutions help us with the second part of solving the inequality. Let's use these solutions to draw a number line. Okay, so this is zero. Makes this easier to work with zero, negative half, and positive half. Right. So let's try and split this, re this number line into three regions so that we can test each sector or each region to see if it satisfies the inequality. Let's start with negative half and substitute negative half into the expression 4x squared minus 1 to see if it will give us a solution less than 0. So clearly 1 minus 1 is 0 and 0 is equal to 0, not less than, so therefore it doesn't satisfy the inequality. Let's, in that case, you would want to put a hollow circle above negative half just to indicate that it does not satisfy the inequality. Let's see what happens if we substitute positive half. Um, squaring of half will still give us a quarter minus one and that still gives us zero so also it does not satisfy the inequality so I think let's check the middle region between minus half and positive half and let's just choose any arbitrary value I think zero is easier to work with because it's a whole number let's substitute zero into the expression for zero squared minus one it gives us minus 1 and quite clearly minus 1 is less than 0 so it seems like values greater than negative 1 and less than values greater than negative half and less than half do satisfy the inequality let's just take it a step further let's look at the region greater than positive half let's choose 1 and see what solution it gives us substitute it into the expression 4x squared minus 1 so 4 1 squared is it's still 4 minus 1 it gives us 3 3 is greater than 0 not less than so it seems values greater than half do not satisfy the inequality let's go with minus half and see minus 1 rather 
Let's see if it will give us a solution that satisfies the inequality. So, 4 minus 1 is equal to 3. Doesn't 3 is greater than 0, not less than 0. So, quite evidently, all values greater than negative half and less than half satisfy the inequality. So, the second part of solving inequalities using the number line is very important because it gives us a picture of what solutions satisfy the inequality. So to formally write it, x should be greater than negative half and x should be strictly less than half. And these are the values that satisfy the inequality.